Hello, welcome. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today we're going to be talking about some more numeric summaries for quantitative data. And remember that a numeric summary is a type of descriptive statistic because it's just describing the data or the group that you have collected on. So here we're going to be talking about range. Now range is a really easy measurement. It's a measurement sometimes that people use for variability. But essentially, it's the distance or difference between the maximum and minimum. So you just take the largest value in a data set and subtract the minimum from that, and that's what would be defined as the range. So here in this first box plot, you can see that we have two different groups. We have female and we have male. And if I were to calculate the range for this, I need to identify the maximum, which you can actually see for both groups is going to be 12. So I would have 12 minus, and then I would take the minimum. So for females, it appears that their minimum is actually at two. So for the females, they have a range of 10. However, the males, even though they have a maximum of 12, their minimum appears to be approximately three. So they have a range of nine. Now, that essentially is measuring the distance between that maximum and this minimum, that's my range. So that's the distance or the difference between the maximum and minimum. This is a pre pretty easy measurement for y'all to do on your own. However, you will notice that if you have a table that is from some computing package, it will calculate the range for you. So this is for the same data. You can see that it had a range of 10 for the female group, which is what we calculated by hand. And for the male group, we can see that there was a range of nine, which we actually calculated by hand too. So you can see that up there, we had nine and 10. And you don't always have to do those calculations yourself because most time uh, the statistical computing package would do it for you. But essentially I wanted to show you what it would look like in terms of what it's measuring. So the distance or difference, but also how to find it with a computing package. So in the next videos, we'll talk about how to calculate something called the interquartile range. So same idea, but a little bit different. See you then.